just the fact that they traded Justin Fields and they cleared some runway for you to land. Is that your full expectation to be to be headed there? Um, it's, a, it's a good question. Um, I wouldn't say it's my full expectation. Is Eberflus up for that? Like, is he up for, <laughs> yeah, I, is he I up hope for so. like, <laughs> handling a Caleb? You can't bring that Hollywood stuff into the building, especially now with guys who played this game. I feel like at a high level for, for consecutive years in the league. Caleb and his group do not want to go to Chicago. Caleb Williams has declared war on the Chicago Bears. He has sent signals before, but this time the projected number one overall draft pick for 2024 went way too far. Caleb Williams' father, Carl Williams, is heavily involved in his career. That is why what he said in early 2023 is so important. He made a bold statement about the NFL draft process, and this was a moment when everyone knew the Bears were going to have the number one overall pick because they held the Panthers pick, who were obviously going to tank, with rookie quarterback Bryce Young. And Carl Williams attacked the draft process, saying that Caleb would almost be better off not being drafted than being drafted first overall. Carl went on to say the way the system is constructed, you go to the worst possible situation, the worst possible team, the worst organization in the league. He also talked about Kyler Murray struggling because he went to a bad organization and Baker Mayfield struggling because he went to the Cleveland Browns. And throwing shade at the Chicago Bears is not even the craziest thing he said. Carl Williams went on to say that if there's not a good situation, the truth is he could come back to school. Caleb Williams' camp was basically threatening to not enter the draft if they did not like the team that had the number one overall pick. Around the same time, there was a leaked rumor about Caleb Williams having a short list of teams that he would want to play for. These teams included the Cowboys, Raiders, Vikings, Giants, and the Niners, not the Chicago Bears. These are just rumors. It's not verified, but it does add up, especially given what we're about to tell you. In July of 2023, it was reported that Caleb Williams was talking about gaining equity from whatever team ends up drafting him. Aaron Rodgers also tried to do the same thing in the summer of 2023 before signing with the New York Jets. But Caleb Williams made it known to prospective agents that he wants partial ownership of the team that selects him in 2024. Caleb Williams denied the report that said he was seeking equity, but two sources told The Athletic that Williams' camp did in fact discuss the topic with potential agents. Agents. Not only with Aaron Rodgers trying to get equity, Caleb Williams trying to get equity, but you also had Tom Brady with the Raiders trying to be an employee of the team and get paid in equity. It got so big that the NFL established a rule that prohibits non-family employees from taking equity in teams. And this happened the same summer that we heard about Caleb Williams trying to get equity. So now Caleb Williams being a potential owner is off the table. We are showing you that important detail just to show you that Caleb Williams is willing to break barriers and feels entitled to get something new that no other NFL player, let alone draft pick, has ever gotten. Caleb Williams has appeared smug several times and lacks sportsmanship. In 2022, prior to playing the Utah Utes, he painted F Utah on his nails. And this would be fine, sure, talk a little bit of smack, but the following season, when USC lost to the Utah U, Caleb Williams was full of so so much emotion after the game that he refused to shake hands with his opponents and show good sportsmanship. His stare looks like it could cut, cut glass right now. Downstairs, Allison with Bryson Barnes. Thank you guys so much. So Caleb Williams is willing to throw shade, haunt his opponents, but when he loses the game, he can't suck it up and get off his ass and shake hands with the opponents. This would not be the only time he used his nails as a way to taunt his opponent. In 2022, before he played the Fighting Irish Notre Dame, Caleb Williams had F Notre Dame on his fingernails. Luckily, USC won the matchup in 2022, but that was not the same story in 2023 when the Fighting Irish Notre Dame defeated the USC Trojans and Caleb Williams would look upset after the game and was even taunted by a fan. Let me see those nails down, bro. Let me see those nails down, bro. Come on. Ah, we did it. 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 Oh.
This fan mocked Caleb Williams for taunting Notre Dame with his nails. When asked about it afterwards, Caleb Williams did not have much to say other than that the fan is jealous of his big shoes. Uh, I mean, everybody wants to be in these two 12 and a half shoes right here. So, um, <laughs> Rather than having any regrets for taunting Notre Dame, Caleb Williams used this as an opportunity to brag about his penis size. Williams also famously could not handle losing to the Washington Huskies and even had a viral video emerge in which the grown man at this point was crying to his mommy while TV cameras were all around him. He just could not handle losing and could not show good sportsmanship after taking an L. The grown man is crying and gyrating here to his mother. Now back to the NFL draft. Williams has been very choosy about where he wants to go. He thinks he should be able to decide where he wants to go, and he put out leaks to Colin Cowherd saying he does not want to go to the Chicago Bears in February of 2024. I do think it's possible that Washington trades up and Chicago allows Washington to trade up because Caleb and his group do not want to go to Chicago. He's from the DC area. I think Dan Quinn is considered the big concern for Caleb Williams, and you have to admit this. Where you land matters. Chicago has never developed a star quarterback. The reason why this is such a big deal is because many believe Colin Cowherd is tight with Caleb Williams' camp. Williams doesn't always do interviews and has appeared on Colin Cowherd's show. And that is why after those comments about him not wanting to go Chicago went viral, Colin Cowherd had to clear this up. So I got a call from the Caleb Williams camp and they went, whoa, 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 Colin. We don't want to be, we don't want to be painted as anti-Chicago and we don't want to be painted as anti-bear. And they, and they made it clear to me that they said, listen, we don't want to go to a city that doesn't care. Chicago cares. They're big, loud, they're passionate. They fire coaches all the time. They care. So Cowherd had to say some BS lines about how there's a path to succeed in Chicago. It seems like he was just clearing up a mess. The mess being that he said something way too real, which is that Caleb Williams does not want to go to Chicago. Caleb Williams on social media has also sent cryptic messages implying he does not want to be drafted by the Bears. In late December of 2023, Caleb Williams liked a tweet saying that the Bears should not draft him and should draft the wide receiver Marvin Harrison instead. And this was not the only message he sent. He also liked a tweet just recently in early March. Williams liked a tweet where Devin Hester, the former Bears wide receiver, said that he would take Justin Fields over Caleb Williams. So he liked a tweet saying the Bears should take a wide receiver over him and liked a tweet saying that they should keep Justin Fields over Caleb Williams. Things have gotten even worse recently. The Chicago Bears head coach Matt Eberflus and the GM Ryan Poles flew out to see Caleb Williams at his USC Pro Day. And a viral moment happened here where Caleb Williams ignored the new Bears wide receiver Keenan Allen, who was recently traded to Chicago from the LA Chargers for a fourth round pick. Williams acts like he doesn't even see this guy and essentially ghosts him and disrespects him. You can see Caleb Williams is walking. Obviously, he can see Keenan Allen at this point, but he looks to the left and says hi to somebody else. And you can see Keenan Allen right there looking at the guy, looking at the guy who is supposed to be his new teammate, his new quarterback in Chicago. And Caleb Williams is avoiding him and continues to avoid him as Keenan Allen looks at him and even walks past him and then finally looks over, says hi, shakes his hand, and a lot of people in the media showed the hug, showed the handshake, but no, there was something serious going on there. There was something real here where he was trying not to look at the guy. You could not tell me at this point, especially given the fact that he's a quarterback. Quarterbacks often have great vision. They have the no-look pass. Caleb Williams, along with a lot of professional quarterbacks, can do the no-look pass. These guys have vision. And you're going to tell me that he can't see Keenan Allen right here? Keenan Allen is looking right at him. He is trying to look away from the guy and walks right past him. And obviously, he had to save face after the fact and uh, go ahead and shake the man's hand. But this is just another example of him sending a message to Chicago. And if that wasn't enough, between his dad pretty much dissing the Chicago Bears, between him ghosting Keenan Allen and liking all these tweets, basically begging the Bears not to draft him, what he said here at his pro day on March 20th has to make you believe the guy does not want to be drafted by the Bears. He was asked about being the number one pick 
like, what should be an honor, what should be a privilege. And here's what Caleb Williams had to say about this. Look, we know you're the presumptive number one pick. Yep. Uh, the Bears had a large contingent here. In fact, Coach Matt Eberflus and Jim yeah. Ryan Poles right behind you. Just the fact that they traded Justin Fields and they cleared some runway for you to land. Yep. Um, is that your full expectation to be, to be headed there? Um, it's, a, it's a good question. Um, I wouldn't say it's my full expectation. Obviously, things can happen. Things can change um, throughout this time. I think it's around 33 days or so, 30 days um, until, you know, April 25th. And so, um, you know, a lot can change. Um, you take it day by day. So he mentions twice in just that little clip that things can change. And Caleb Williams gave such an awkward response rather than saying that he would be humble to be the number one overall pick, rather than saying that he would love to play for the city of Chicago, all he could talk about is the fact that things could change. And he seems very awkward, very nervous addressing this question. And this is coupled with the fact that he's already shaded the Bears. His dad has basically already shaded the Bears. And he is coming into this as the presumptive number one overall pick. He is coming into this with one of the biggest heads and biggest egos of any NFL draft pick that I have ever seen. The guy has tried to be a minority owner to his potential team. He has allegedly put out a short list of teams that he would want to play for and to his credit he is one of the most NFL ready quarterbacks that I have seen in quite some time not only with his play on the football field but the way that he addresses the media the way that he talks to the media he seems like he's already a veteran already a savvy pro in the PR department and that is why Caleb Williams thinks that he deserves more thinks that he could choose exactly where he wants to go and he ultimately thinks that he is better than anybody else coming into the NFL draft and should be allowed to do things that have never been done before maybe he's right maybe he will be the next great quarterback but as far as I'm concerned he hasn't done anything yet he hasn't proved anything yet at the NFL level and so maybe he should start acting a little more humble and it seems like he's already getting off on the wrong foot for the NFL. We'll see how this pans out. Will Caleb Williams be a draft bust? And will he ultimately be able to avoid being drafted by the Chicago Bears? Let me know in the comments below and like this video if you have not yet. And subscribe to me, Wi-Fi Willie, for more NFL content. Peace out. And I hope you have a good one.